Grace and peace be unto you, beloved family. This is Bishop Parnell Lovelace, Jr. I just wanted to take a moment and let you know that Lady Di and I have been praying for you. We're certainly lifting you up in our prayers and in our hearts, and we miss you. We can't wait to get back together and worshiping the Lord together as a family and fellowship one with another. You know, I was thinking the other day in Psalm 121, there's the passage that opens up in Psalm 121 verses one and two. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from where my help comes from. My help comes from the Lord, who is the creator of heaven and earth. And I was reminded of the fact that my beloved late pastor as a child, uh, Pastor Willie P. Cook, he used to always quote that passage every time he'd get up and minister uh, to the congregation. And during that time, it was such a tumultuous time in our nation. And uh, he would speak these words out as to encourage the house and lift us up. And I would remember every time he would speak, he was such a regal man as he would speak those words out. You could just feel the whole congregation being uplifted. And even as I reflect upon that passage today, I want to let you know that indeed we can look up. We can look to the hills from where our help comes from. Our help comes from the Lord who has created heaven and earth. And uh, sometimes we can tend to forget that and get caught up into the distractions of all of the events that are happening around with the coronavirus and so forth. But I, I want to just encourage you, stay with the Word of God. Continue just to focus on His promises and know that He is with us. He said He'll never leave us, never forsake us. And as I taught just not long ago, just rejoy yourself. Add joy back into your life and, and allow yourself to look into the hills, look to the place where God is constantly reminding us of His love, His care, and His compassion. And I just want to say if there's anything that uh, I can do to encourage you in your walk during this time, don't hesitate to uh, email me at bishop at cop.church. And also do visit our website. We have lots of resources on the website. We have prayer guides and scriptures on what to do during times of challenge. And we have uh, archived messages and services that you can watch, celebrations that will just encourage your heart. Just listen, fill yourself with the word, uh, feed your faith, but starve your fear. Feed your faith with the things of God and just be encouraged in those things. And also, if you're in need of any uh, support as far as food or personal supplies, do not, again, hesitate to email us at deacon at cop.church, deacon at cop.church. And I have a wonderful team of deacons that are ready to respond to you in love and in prayer. Stay encouraged. God is with us. I look forward to worshiping with you soon. Don't forget to join us in watching our online celebrations on this weekend. Uh, we're on every weekend at 8 a.m., 1015, and once again at 5 p.m., 8 a.m., 1015 a.m., and 5 p.m., and we'll be worshiping the Lord together with a word and with encouragement. I love you. I love you with all my heart, and I know that God's best is yet to come.